Hello everyone, my name is Anirudh and today I'll be presenting our work on automating robot truck unloading. Industrial automation has shown vast improvements in efficiency and led to decrease in manufacturing costs in the past few decades. However, there are still many warehouse operations such as truck unloading which require manual labor. Automating truck unloading can vastly increase throughput and reduce worker related injuries. In this work, we tackle the problem of automating truck unloading using a custom built robot that you can see in this video. The robot has two end effectors, an arm with a suction array and that can be used to pick boxes and drop them on a conveyor, and a nose which can be used to scoop the boxes on the floor of the truck. This makes the robot ideal for truck unloading. However, to make the dream of automated truck unloading a reality, there are several key challenges. The foremost challenge is to perform sequential decision making under different forms of uncertainty. For example, we see a wide variety of box configurations inside trucks such as the ones shown on the right. In each of these scenarios, the robot is not able to perceive parameters like masses of the boxes, the configuration of the boxes in the back, etc. Under such uncertainty, we desire plans or sequence of actions that are robust and result in high throughput. In addition to sequential reasoning, we also need fast and efficient motion planning to execute the plan trajectories in real time. To tackle these challenges, we have access to a high fidelity simulator in VREP of the truck unloading task. One could ask, how do we utilize the simulator to achieve robust plans and obtain high throughput during execution on the physical robot? Our proposed framework presents a solution to this question. We use the simulator offline to generate a wide variety of box configurations and use a task planning module to solve high level planning problems. The task planning module comes up with robust plans that ensure high throughput under uncertainty. The resulting plans, which we call strategies, are stored in a library that can be accessed during online operation. At runtime, we have an online adaptation module that reads in the current perception of the world from the robot and picks the best strategy from the strategy library. The best strategy is picked according to the current box configuration. At the same time, we also decide whether to execute the best plan strategy or a hard-coded strategy designed by a domain expert. This allows us to introduce domain knowledge and ensures our performance is never worse than that of a domain expert. Finally, the chosen strategy is instantiated as a motion planning query by our execution module and sent to the motion planning module which quickly computes the corresponding robot joint trajectory. This trajectory is sent to the robot for execution. In summary, our framework utilizes pre-computed robust plans, adapts them to the current box configuration online, and efficiently computes a plan to execute on the physical robot. Before we dive into each module individually, it is useful to understand the notion of a strategy. A strategy is simply a robust plan composed of abstract actions and observations. An example of a strategy is shown on the right, which prescribes semantic actions for each possible semantic observation in the outcomes. It is represented using a decision tree. These abstract actions and observations are instantiated at runtime according to the current box configuration by our execution module. As a first attempt, we have hand designed a strategy using domain knowledge that exhibits good performance on a wide variety of box configurations. The strategy is shown on the right and is very simple. It examines if there is a pile of boxes on the floor. If so, it uses the nose to sweep the boxes. Else, it decides to pick the wall of boxes if they are sufficiently high. However, due to its hard-coded nature, this strategy cannot adapt to the box configuration and history of past executions. For instance, consider the following plan where the robot tries to pick boxes from a mid-level height. As the boxes are heavy, the suction arrays fail to grab the boxes and the plan is ineffective. At this point, we would like to adapt and execute a plan that picks the boxes from a larger height so that the suction array can grab boxes without any difficulty. This is an example of a robust plan or strategy that our task planning module generates. Our task planning module accounts for uncertainty in the masses of the boxes. This is formulated as a POMDP that is solved using a heuristic based dynamic programming solver. In the process of solving it, the module constructs a belief tree using the simulator as shown on the top right. The belief tree is constructed to consider all possible outcomes and results in a robust plan or strategy as shown on bottom right. The compute st computed strategy is a decision tree of fixed depth prescribing semantic actions for possible outcomes. However, 
computing these strategies is a com very computationally expensive process and we cannot afford to do that online without deteriorating throughput. Hence, we use the simulator offline to generate strategies for a wide range of box configurations. All the computed solutions are stored in a strategy library that is used during online operation. At runtime, our online adaptation module reads in the perception of the box configuration from the robot and extracts a feature descriptor using a 3D histogram as shown on the top right. This feature descriptor is used in a nearest neighbor regression algorithm to pick the best planned strategy from the strategy library. Finally, we train a binary classifier to choose between the best planned strategy and the hardcoded strategy using the simulator. The train classifier ensures that the performance of the strategy picked by the online adaptation module is never worse than the hardcoded strategy. The chosen strategy is then sent to our execution module that instantiates the abstract actions of the strategy into motion planning queries. An example is shown on the right where abstract pick actions such as pick high left are instantiated into specific 6D poses. These queries are then sent to the motion planner. Upon receiving the query, the motion planner uses an anytime planner to compute the robot joint trajectory to reach the desired pose. Using an anytime planner ensures that we obtain an initial trajectory quickly and get better and better trajectories as we allow for more time, allow more timing for, time for planning. Our motion planner is efficient and supports various planning modes accounting for different combinations of the joints. Having discussed all the modules, let us, let us look at the experimental results. We evaluated the performance of our execution and motion planning modules on the physical robot. In this run, we can see the robot executing the hard-coded strategy inside a trailer with a stack of boxes. Our execution model, module instantiates the abstract actions within the hard-coded strategy into specific poses according to the current box configuration. The motion planner quickly generates the corresponding robot joint trajectory to reach the desired pose. Both instantiation and planning happen in real time, leading to 128 boxes unloaded within this run at the rate of 12 boxes per minute. We also evaluate the performance of our overall framework, including the online adaptation and task planning modules and simulation. For the purposes of training the binary classifier in the online adaptation module, we use environments A1 and B1 as shown in the figures. We subsequently test the throughput of the framework on test environments A2 and B2 shown in the figures. We can observe that the environments A1 and A2 comprise of configurations that represent well-stacked and structured walls of boxes, while B1 and B2 comprise of configurations that are more unstructured. The plots on the bottom show the performance of our framework PLR when compared to, the, when compared to purely executing the hard-coded strategy or purely executing the nearest neighbor planned strategy. As seen on the first two plots, our approach does well on the training environments as expected. However, we see that PLR consistently does better than hard-coded in the two test environments as well, thereby empirically proving that we do not obtain a performance worse than a domain expert. Finally, we show our entire framework including the task planning, online adaptation, execution and motion planning modules in simulation unloading a trailer. The simulated run exhibits the efficacy of our framework to deal with a wide variety of box configurations and robustness of the planned strategies. Note that the execution and motion planning modules have also been tested on the real robot. We leave testing task planning and online adaptation modules on the real robot for future work. I would like to conclude my talk by pointing out limitations on future work. Our limitations include the assumption made by the online adaptation module that we have complete ground truth knowledge of the box poses which is too strong. Real world perception has substantial amount of noise that needs to be accounted for. The other limitation of our framework is that we rely on the hardcoded strategy as one of our choice of strategies, which can sometimes lead to uh, suboptimal performance. The main direction for future work is to, test, uh, is to test the overall framework on the real robot and evaluate its performance. In conclusion, our framework shows great potential to automate truck unloading and improve efficiency in modern warehouses. Thank you for listening.